Hi everyone. So as you probably guessed, this is a quick demo of Pseudoscience 6 Stuff Viewer. This is an app for viewing and playing with 6 degree of freedom, or 6 stuff, or sometimes known as volumetric photos and videos. So here we are in the app, this is sort of the main screen. You can see I've got motion control here, and I can sort of just move it around and sort of control where I am, sort of control the scale and just move around. So this app requires a monoscopic equirectangular 360 image and a corresponding equirectangular depth map. This particular image was shot with a GoPro Odyssey, which is a Google Jump camera. Google Jump provides equirectangular depth maps out of the box, as does Kandao Obsidian and Nokia Ozo. This is a still image from a video, so let's go ahead and just load up a video. So here's a video playing. You can see I can move around just like in the still image. It's just moving around. You can see the image is fairly distorted. That's just the way it's captured and stuff, but it still lets us play with it. There's real-time lighting control, so this is flashlight mode. I can just place the flashlight here and just leave it there, control the brightness, even pick the color. I'll just reset the scale now and grab the flashlight. You can see there's also light bulb mode, so not quite as directional as flashlight, but still real-time lighting with color and shadows. So I'm loading another video, and this is my messy apartment. You can see I can kind of walk around. I can even go into the kitchen a little bit. Go ahead and reset the scale here. You can see there's, you know, really messy. There's my friend Danny, and here's this table. You can see the, the LA Times there and a bunch of old cameras and stuff. Um, there's me playing ukulele. Another option we have is instead of this displacement mapping, we can actually use a point cloud. So here's everything in a point cloud. Uh, the compression on the video capture isn't great, so it looks a little blurry, but you can see it's definitely this, just this massive cloud of points, point cloud. You can see we can control the point size also to sort of fill in the gaps between the points a little bit. I'll go ahead and load up another video here. And uh, let's go back to the observatory. This is the front of the Griffith Observatory. A bunch of people walking around. We're still in point cloud mode, as you can see. So this app is free. I really want VR filmmakers and photographers who are already shooting in stereoscopic 360 to be able to look at their images in Sixtoff. As I said before, camera systems like Google Jump, the Kandao Obsidian, and Nokia Ozo all provide depth maps out of the box. So people shooting on those camera systems can right now export their images and view them in Sixtoff. Also, at reddit.com slash r slash sixstoff, I'm trying to start a community for VR filmmakers and photographers to share their images and videos for playback in sixstoff. Okay, so I'd imagine that you're probably pretty tired of me saying the word sixstoff now, so I am done, but thank you for watching.